The proposed amendments, once it becomes law, will make it compulsory for all lawyers to offer at least 120 hours of pro bono services to vulnerable members of the public. A disproportionate number of Namibians don't have easy access to legal services and to justice. That is a fact. It is a fact that a disproportionate number of our people are unable to approach the courts um, in a manner that they can uh, basically uh, defend themselves and get the remedies that they seek if a particular right of them theirs is violated. During the engagement with stakeholders in the capital, the notion was received with mixed feelings. Some practitioners felt the burden to provide accessible legal services for all lies with the state and therefore the legal profession should not be made a public institution. The question of access to justice, they say, can only be solved if the whole system is revamped to fix the connection between all role players. What will really be the ultimate outcome? What will be the impact? Because if you look at these numbers, um, the impact will be extremely minimal. Um, and for that, you will disincentivize uh, the practice of law and may at the end of the day actually end up reducing access to lawyers or as it is called, access to justice. Our research unfortunately suggests that the unintended consequences will outweigh any possible, well, the benefits that we might receive from a mandatory pro bono scheme. Our suggestion in the change project is that we should not try quick fixes, but we should look at the system. However, there are those supporting the proposed amendments saying legal fees are unaffordable and in the absence of small claims court, pro bono services could be the solution. There are lawyers who exercise their discretion to help people in the best way that they can. But then part of it is also if you are undercharging, you are at risk of running foul of whatever the ethical rules are uh, that are prescriptive on how we invoice and what we do. So these are all you know, aspects that we need to really look at to get into the detail because this is about implementation of a policy. I am saying yes, the numbers, the money, the how many hours are important. But some of us sitting out there in this country of ours need help. We find that there's a huge problem because a lot of people don't know their rights. They don't know what they can do. Um, and this is another area that one can consider in this whole, whole area of pro bono, how public legal education, legal literacy can be promoted. You, you need to come down from wherever you are, Klein Cooper, and visit. Your domestic worker comes from Katutura, Hakahana, Havana. Do you know what they do? Do you know that they leave their children at 5 o'clock, 4 o'clock in the morning to arrive at your house? The engagement suggested that deliberations should continue to consolidate ideas that would come up with consensus. Daniel Nadung, NBC News, Vent Hook.